ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமஹா சில்ட்ரன் வெல்கம் டு ஆன்லைன் லேர்னிங் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் கிளாஸ் வி ஹாவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் ஹார்ம்ஃபுல் மைக்ரோ ஆர்கானிசம்ஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஃபுட் ஸ்பாய்லேஜ் அண்ட் ஃபுட் ப்ரிசர்வேஷன் you know that microorganisms are responsible for causing diseases in plants animals and humans microorganisms like bacteria and fungi can grow on food stuff when they are not stored properly they grow and multiply rapidly on food under suitable conditions such as warm temperature air and moisture sour taste unpleasant smell slimy appearance and change in color are the signs to identify whether the food is spoiled or not if the food items are kept for a long period of time germs such as bacteria or fungi start growing on it once the food is spoiled it cannot be eaten and has to be thrown away let us see the proper definition of food spoilage food spoilage is the process where food gets damaged by the growth of microorganisms and becomes inedible for humans so once the food gets damaged by the growth of microorganisms like fungi or bacteria it has to be thrown away and we should not consume it let us discuss about the causes of food spoilage there are mainly three types of causes of food spoilage physical chemical and biological physical causes consist of temperature and physical abuse example squashing of tomatoes or other fruits while being transported in bulk chemical causes include reaction with oxygen and light and chemical reactions within food constituents biological causes comprise of growth of microorganisms such as bacteria yeast and molds let us discuss about the microbial spoilage bacteria or unicellular organisms and are smaller in size than yeast and mold they are of different sizes and shapes bacteria can grow and develop rapidly between 20 degrees celsius and 53 degrees celsius yeast are tiny organisms which can be seen only with the help of a microscope they multiply very fast and cause fermentation food items spoiled by yeast are fruit juices honey and jams and jellies molds are in the form of threads developed on perishable foods what do you mean by perishable foods food items which are capable of spoilage are called perishable foods they are visible to our eyes they contain spores when the molds find a favorable environment they germinate and produce 
a fluffy growth. They are often found as grey or white or some other colour depending on the variety of the mould. Consuming the spoiled food may lead to serious illness or death because the microbes present in the spoiled food produce toxic substances. Now, let us discuss about what is food poisoning. It is the illness caused due to the consumption of food spoiled by microorganisms. What are the symptoms of food poisoning? Fever Headache Diarrhea Loss of appetite Vomiting and abdominal cramps are some of the symptoms of food poisoning. We all know that food is valuable. Food preservation involves preventing the food from being spoiled. Now, let us discuss about what is food preservation. The process of preparing food involves the prevention of growth of microorganisms so that it can be stored for longer is called food preservation. This method either slows down the activity of microorganisms or kills them completely but at the same time retains the original flavor and nutritional value of food. Cooked or uncooked food can be preserved in different ways to be used later. Some methods of food preservation are drying, canning, Freezing, pickling, chemical preservatives, fermenting and smoking. Let us discuss about the first method of food preservation that is drying. In this method, food items are dried in the sun in order to remove the moisture content. Drying inhibits the growth of microorganisms through the removal of water. Drying is one of the oldest methods of food preservation. Certain food items like grains, puppets, Fruits and vegetables are preserved by this method. Let us discuss about the second method of food preservation that is canning. It is a method of heating the food and sealing it in an airtight container so that germs do not grow on them. Food items like fruits, vegetables and dairy products are preserved through this method. Food kept in a refrigerator remains fresh for some days. Microorganisms cannot grow easily in cool places. Let us now discuss about the third method of food preservation that is freezing. Freezing is a method of 
preserving food by lowering the temperature to inhibit the growth of microorganisms fruits vegetables seafood grains nuts eggs are preserved by this method we are going to discuss about the fourth method of food preservation that is pasteurization it is the process of heating milk in a specific temperature for a specified time to destroy the harmful microorganisms the process was named after the french microbiologist louis pasteur today pasteurization is widely used in the dairy industry and other food processing industries to achieve food preservation and food safety products that are commonly pasteurized are milk water juices and low alcoholic beverages we are going to see about the fifth method that is chemical preservatives what do you mean by preservatives a preservative is a substance or a chemical that is added to products such as food paints drugs and many other products to prevent the microbial growth chemical preservation is the addition of chemical compounds or preservatives like sodium benzoate ascorbic acid and benzoic acid fruit juices jams and jellies ketchup or preserved by this method today we have discussed about food spoilage by microorganisms and its causes food poisoning symptoms of food poisoning food preservation and the different methods of food preservation thank you children